and we are recording. Oh my gosh, I got three cameras going, three cameras. Three tacos is a good meal. Boom. So, hello, my name is Brenton Nextran, and I've been thinking about changing the name, uh, the name of the channel to Keep Creating, but I haven't done that yet, so name of the channel still Brenton Nextran. Uh, but today I'm gonna go through the uh, Red Komodo and this cool app that uh, more or less comes with the camera. You have to have, you know, either a compatible Android or iOS device um, to get this going. But today I want to walk through uh, this wonderful world of the Komodo and all the controls it gives you. Um, it's really great for me as a person who can make content on YouTube um, that I can see myself from far away. I can double tap the screen. And even on an iPad, I think the app is made for iOS people, but even on an iPad, I can pop it up here and I can, I can frame up my shot. And it's not, you know, it's not lag free. There's quite a lot of um, delay and stuttering and it's not good for like first AC, you know, style uh, focus pulling. But my goodness, I, I love that I can have this monitor wireless and I don't have to buy an expensive wireless kit because I currently, I don't even own one yet. Um, boy. Boy, do I love this. And you can see it here on the C300. Boom, right there. I love it. So I'm gonna double tap on this guy and let's go back to the main menu. So the way you set this up is there's two ways to do it. One is ad hoc, which is the uh, signal coming from the Komodo, or you can just do a um, network. So you can hook it up to your Wi-Fi router and you can link up a bunch of Komodos, I believe. And I think you can see more than one Komodo simultaneously if you have more than one Komodo on here, uh, but I could be wrong. I don't know, it looks like there's a mode to do that. I don't have more than one Komodo though, but here we are. So the way I've set up this scene is pretty, pretty moody, um, but it wasn't always like that. At ISO 800 here, boom, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot more high key. And I, I didn't really like that look. Um, it's. It, it does still have some noise in the image according to the uh, little scopes here. You know, you can see uh, right uh, about here. There's a little bit of noise in the image, uh, but that is okay with me. I'm not too picky about that. Some people are if you want high key. Uh, this isn't quite high key and I am wearing a black shirt. So uh, what I like to do is get a pretty even exposure in my uh, histogram here and then pull that down and you know it's kind of like an in post grade that's what I like to think of the uh, ISO pushing and pulling on the red like so I shoot you know quote unquote 800 uh, really I'm just shooting raw and then I apply that ISO 320 I think it's yeah 320 to this grade and I get that more moody darker look that I like I still have a decent amount of, you know, highlight definition, you know, my fixtures right here, uh, but my mid-tones and shadows dip down to the shadows and that's, that's really what I like for this look. So over here in the app, we've got lots and lots of tools. Um, we've got our temperature, so the T over E, which is uh, good to keep green. Uh, the Komodo is really good about that. It doesn't overheat typically or uh, get too cold, usually. Uh, I haven't gone to any freezing temperatures yet with the Komodo, but you know, you've got your, let me show this up here. We got the, like your CFast card storage, you got hours, you know, record time left, you got battery life. I got about an hour left on this battery. And then I forget how many hours on that battery. We've got our record time base, our LQ. It's grayed out right now because I am recording right now in LQ. Um, and we got our iris. If this was a uh, electronically controlled iris, this would uh, tell me the f-stop. Currently I'm at T2.8. I'm on a manual uh, Pictor zoom lens. It's a DZO lens. And I've got my uh, Kelvin white balance right here. So I can change that if I want to. It's got a little presets here. That's kind of nice. I haven't seen this yet. Um, doo -doo -doo. It's got tint. Currently my tint is zero. I don't want to touch that yet. Um, but all of this can be changed in post, which is pretty great. And that is, that is the magic of raw. That is the beauty of it. Um, but yeah, that was just a little quick, uh, walkthrough of this guy. Um, I really want to make more videos like this, just breaking down. Oh yeah. And I can like rate the clip. I don't know. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. Uh, but yeah. This has been a little quick uh, tech demo of how to use this app and 
I just love it so much. It's awesome. Anyway, my name is Brenton Extran. Uh, go out and keep creating. Bye.